Hey, what's up guys? It's a uh, art book addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. So today we're going to be looking at the art of Yo-Yo Shinari rough sketches. So basically, this is uh, a book that contains uh, rough sketches by uh, Yo-Yo Shinari. Right? If you don't know who Yo-Yo Shinari is, uh, he is currently uh, one of the lead animators at uh, Trigger, or key animator, I guess, right? Um, you should, uh, he is also the creator of uh, Little Witch Academia, right? That story is uh, his story, I believe. Um, he's worked on Evangelion in the past. That's kind of like he was, was his, like, one of his debut projects. Um, if, you know, he's one of the big Trigger guys, right, basically, if you guys don't know about him. Um... I guess his biggest uh, claim to fame right now would be Little Witch Academia, yeah. But um, you know, he's a he's a great artist. Um, he creates a lot of movement in his work. I think he's also worked on Gurren Lagann, right? Um, but basically, you know, any any of those projects, you know, like it's probably uh, Yo Yo Shinari. He's he's in it. He's with the team, right? Um, and these are just a, com uh, a compilation of some of his sketches that he's made. Um, this book is really good if you really want to, you know, kind of see like the, the bones of, uh, you know, how he draws, the, like the way he makes shapes. Um, yeah, this was recommended to me by a friend in school. And uh, I, after, you know, hearing about Yoshinari, Yo Yo Yoshinari and learning about his uh, history, I definitely had to pick it up, right? Um, yeah, so before we start the video, guys, uh, please hit that subscribe button, right? Leave a like on the video, that really help out the channel, right? But, uh, with all that said, uh, let's, uh, let's jump into this guy. <clears throat> all right. Here we go. So I'm assuming these are just like, you know, a pile of sketches that he's kept, right? You can see right here, uh... He, he has this very, like, certain shape language that I, that you could recognize. It's like this weird, like, squiggle. Um, you could, you, you'll see it more as we go on, but you could see right here that he has this kind of, like, strange squiggle style, right? Uh, a lot of artists do. They have a certain squiggle, but, you know, each one is their own. Yeah, just a couple sketches right here. You know, this this kind of reminds me of um, the guy from... Gur uh, not Gurren Lagann, uh... Eureka 7? I can't remember his name. Yeah. Just some kid drawings, right? Some uh, female drawings right here. Yeah. Like I said, you can see you can see right here, kind of in the hand, the squiggle, right, the squiggle here, um, and the, also in the way he does his shadows, right? You see it real hard right here, like it's it's a uh, like his uh, his shadows like conform to the to the form underneath, right? Right here, you can see that weird squiggle again, right? Am I the only one to see this? I don't know. Uh, an explosion. Right. If you've seen these explosions, then you, then you know that they're from uh, they're, they're trigger, right? And uh, Yo Yo Shinari, he's really good at making those explosions. Yeah. So this book, um, I think I got it for around like forty five dollars, right? Yeah, forty five bucks. Um, it is. Uh, what do you call it in? Uh, I think it's sold only in Japan, right? Um, I, I, I think I looked recently and it's about $60 right now with the with the shipping and everything. So yeah, it's about 300 pages of content. I like the format though, it's really it's really nice and you get the animation paper right here. Just to just to like, you know, give that give that little uh, nod to animators out there. They'll they'll, they'll recognize this kind of paper. Got a buffman right here. Urgh. Urgh. Look at this way. Look at the way he does this shadow, man. It's so interesting. It has such a strange shape to it. 
you know. Yeah, some some mech right here. Here we go, some more uh some more poses right here. Yeah. See I'm telling you, dude, he has this weird like squiggle. Right? Hmm. Was he responsible for kill a kill? Or like the art style? Because like I could see a lot of that in in his style. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Yeah. What the, got a monkey here. Monkey man. Right, a, a sleeved arm. Yeah. This reminds me of the scissor blade from Kill a Kill. Maybe that's why I, uh, I thought of that. Oh, we have a fighting a maid. Right. You can see how much energy is in these little rough drawings right here. It's awesome. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, these, these, you know, the, the thing that I'll give, um, Japanese animators is that they, they really know how to create nice flow and they have really good anatomy, right? Um, I noticed that American animation, right, doesn't usually have, like, that crazy of, like, uh, flow plus anatomy, right? But you can see right here, like, by this, uh, uh Miss Karate here, there's a, there's a, there's an energy, right, that, uh, I feel like is, is kind of missing in Western animation, just, just because of the limitation of, um, the designs, right? In in Japanese and like you know, in anime, you could get you you get more realistic proportions, so you get you know you get to have some of these you know really cool poses with like wow that like nice flow. Yeah, look at that. You could really see the expressiveness of uh, each move right here. It's just some really great stuff, man. <clears throat> See that? Look at that! Look at that face, bro. That reminds me of Kill a Kill. Yeah, and you can see he's uh he's doing some poses, right? Doing some uh, some muscle study, right? Some little faces, right? Really cool stuff. Look at those abs. Again, you can see that kind of like like that double double line look, right? Really cool. You see some. Uh, some nice uh, twisting of the of the torso right here. You know, get a little bit of under boob. Always good. Right, a beautiful woman. Very cute. Yeah, this is just a. Uh, it's just like a little sketchbook. You know what I mean? This this is what that reminds me of. Uh, just a sketchbook. You know, like. Um, I'm assuming he just did this with, you know, a animation paper because they get sheets and sheets of that stuff and then he just collected it all. Or maybe this is his, uh, actual sketchbook, you know, that he just, and then they just put the animation paper as a, as a nice little homage, right? Um, another thing that I really like is that he does this all in pencil, right? Um, it just adds an, an another level of, a. Of fluidity, you know, and texture, so it, it's just great. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think all of them are done in pencil, but I think most of them are done in pencil. You could, you could usually tell. Yeah, you can see right here. This is definitely done in pencil, and so is this one. Yeah. You see, uh, someone breaking out of some vines. Uh, snap! Very good. Oh, you can see right here, he's trying to, he's trying to do a more graphic style. More like, hard lines, right? Very, uh, line decker esque Right? Look at that. That's cool. I like that he's experimenting, right? It reminds me of, um, Hades. You know, the new game that came out? Is that Inferno Cop? I fucking love Inferno Cop. Here we go, see... You can see right here, and this page especially, like, Yo Yoshinari's style, right? There is this kind of, like, weird, squiggly quality to it. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to describe it, man. It's got this weird, like, you know? Like, there, and there's, like, the double line, right, to create form. Yeah. 
I don't know what it is. I can't. I, it's hard for me to describe, except for as a as a squiggle. But uh, that that is his shape, right? Yeah. It's not. It's not very commonly seen either, which is really nice because it adds a a lot of personality to his work. All right, we got this cool like. This looks like uh, something out of Gurren Lagann, right? With the with the face in the middle, right? Yeah, it's just a mech. Really cool stuff, man. I like it when artists can do uh, can do organic and technical, right? That's you know, uh, some people are more organic, some people are more technical, but being able to do both is definitely a skill worth having, right? Here we go, another very Yo Yo Shinari style thing, <clears throat> where he's got these weird like like pointy and then squiggly and then pointy. It's it's I don't know. You could just tell. You could just tell it's his drawing, right? This cool drawing right here with this with this nice uh we call it uh rim light. Yeah. Look at that. These are so nice. And you can see him jumping from more more like um, you know, more realistic, right? To like cutesy. You know, it's 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 good to be able to to move back and forth, you know, as an artist. Yeah, look at that. This reminds me of, uh, Susie. And there is the, like, Tinkerbell right here. Look at that. This reminds me of, um, the Kill a Kill monster when, when Ryoko becomes, uh, a big, big old monster. Alright. Um, looks like we have some people studies, right? Uh, Baldman, right here. Oh, we got some little witch characters, I'm assuming, right? Because it, it totally looks like it's in that style. Yeah. Very cute, very cute drawings right here. Yeah, we got a little kid and his mom, right? Just got an apron on. Look at that. So cute. These are nice. Um, this looks like uh, what's his name, the uh, cyborg ninja from Metal Gear, right? Just because he has like the one thing in his face. Yeah, probably just using it as a as a reason to to put these bodies here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that pose. It's real cool. And these poses, you know, I, I, I assume most of them are just invented, just, you know, and like, you know, he knows the anatomy, so he can play with the shapes, you know, um, extend them, make them more dramatic, right? But he, he has a good knowledge of anatomy right here. You can tell. I guess as an animated, you'd have to, right? This reminds me of um, Astro Boy. I don't know why. Maybe the hair. Yeah. What is this right here? I don't know. I don't have no idea what this is. Some kind of like power. Right. He's charging up his uh, fireball, or he's and he's he's ripping something in half. Yeah, these drawings are very expressive. I imagine for an animator, this would be a really fantastic book. And uh, any any Trigger fan, obviously. Um, I think this would be probably more helpful to an artist rather than a, than someone just who's a fan. But, you know, both, both could enjoy it. But I think this would be invaluable to an artist, basically. Just to see the, um, the process work. Right to see the, the the how they get it done. Um, because you know, as an artist myself, I, I usually learn more from uh, preliminary drawings than the final. Because the final is great, you know, but it's um, it doesn't show the the uh, the bone the the bone works underneath. Right, it doesn't show the the scaffolding used to create the the final building. Right. Got a little girl peeking into a little house, right? Let's see, 
I guess uh, someone's drawing right here. She's looking through. She's got that wow, crazy eye, dude. Yeah, she's looking through. And as she's looking through, there is another eye. Boom. Look at that. She is her own eye, dude. Yeah, this this is definitely a very uh, Kamina looking guy right here. Look at that. Boosh. <laughs> Boom, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all these nice poses, man. Yeah. This is that fighter girl again. I don't know. But yeah, these are just cool. I think these are just probably cool little warm ups that they that he does before he gets drawn. Yeah. Damn, dude. I'm telling you, dude, I respect these kind of artists, man. I I don't do it myself, but uh, I definitely respect these kind of artists. Oh, here we go. We have um, Yoko from from Gurren Lagann, right? Look at that. She's got her sniper rifle. She's looking great, dude. Get some uh, some background stuff right here. That's really cool. A bunch of collapsed buildings. <clears throat> we have the uh, little Gurren Lagann guy right here. I guess they're using him as a storage or something like that. We have uh, that one guy with the meat cleaver, and you can see the the uh, the one of the mechs in the background. Yeah, Grim Lagon building or something like that. Look at the way he does this. It's such a nice little structural drawing right there. Alright, so we got some more uh, Gurn Lagon stuff. This is real nice. Yeah. Look at that. We got Simone right here. We got uh, Kamina right there. He's doing this cool little slide. Look at that. Real cool. I guess this is a a spin like the and then he's like boom you know finishing off that spin so expressive man yeah you know i i feel like i see a lot of people who uh not 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 nowadays but like before they used to diss on anime art style you know because it's like oh dude it's so uh, over the top dude but um what I, what i've learned in art school is that uh if you ask people to actually do an anime art style, uh, it'll show whether they know uh, anatomy or not, right? Because I've seen a lot of people who, um, you know, they'll they'll draw like, you know, uh, cartoon style, right? But when it comes to real anatomy, right, unless they have like a real model in front of them, uh, they cannot do it. It's very tough for them, so. That's something that I gotta give Eastern artists, man. Like, they know their anatomy. Look at that. And uh, none of it is made up. They, they know it to the core of their uh, artistic ability, right? And then they, they implement it. Which is uh, something that uh, is not cannot be said of, uh, of Western animation, right? That's definitely something that's lacking in Western animation. <clears throat> and that we have uh, the uh, Gurren Lagann bot again having his little tiny little sprint and that really cute not cute I was gonna say cute this one's cute yeah this little she reminds me of um that girl from uh from Kim Possible I can't remember her name I never watched it I know criminal right let's see some guy grabbing a brick right just some more muscle studies a face study right here yeah, I like that he has so many different hairstyles, because uh, I always see uh, artists drawing the same art style, or the hairstyle, but he mixes it up. <clears throat> yeah. I guess this was um, back when he was working on Gainax, you know, he just had some sketches that he had in Gainax. Uh, looks like some kind of like puppet girl, right, with a robotic mouth or something like that. Or a giant mech woman, a mech girl, yeah. Because there's like people right here. Maybe she, yeah, yeah. I think she's giant. Just some expressions. Yeah. I've uh, got a little, little girl right here from a, from a cottage, right? I guess she's a little bit grown up in this one, or maybe these are three different characters, right? Maybe the mother and her two daughters. 
That's nice. I like how simple the clothing was. Yeah, more uh, Yoko right here. That. Got a little, a little uh, skirt, like whew, a little wind going through. Very nice. <clears throat> Some guy with a with a sword just posing with it. All right. A little a, a knight guy. Ooh. Pushing forward with that with that lance. All right, the uh, unwitting hero with his sword, maybe a little bit too heavy for him. Yeah, I love how you could tell, like, the competency by the pose that they're holding, right? That's real cool. Yeah. This almost looks like Akko, right? Like, she's like, oh, I got a stomachache. <laughs> Gotta take that fat diarrhea shit. Look at that. Short hair girl. Yeah. Uh, another Astro looking boy. <clears throat> Astro boy looking boy. Yeah, this one looks more like a cartoonish style. Yeah. It's cool to see how, um, like, Western animation will affect Eastern animation, right? Because this kind of looks like, you know, like a Popeye, you know, uh, style cartoon, right? All circles, and, you know, it's, it's like, it's, it's cool seeing, like, you know, like I said, Eastern animation affecting Western animation, and, and Western animation affecting, affecting Eastern animation, seeing how they, they kind of, like, you know, go back and forth, right? Yeah. It's real cool. Real cool stuff. Yeah, see, we have a more realistic girl right here. And, uh, more realistic. A little more anime right here. This looks like a, like, like a running start pose. You know, like he's about to run, dude, you know. Uh. This reminds me of, um, that guy from Walking Dead with a handlebar mustache. I can't remember his name. Damn. I haven't seen Walking Dead in forever. Got a, got a drill sergeant woman looking up into the sky. And we got a dog. You know, see here, you can see really hard the squiggle. The... Yeah. It's crazy because, like, I see this dog and it kind of reminds me of the Dean Cornwell dog, right? Um, I wonder if he's inspired by Dean Cornwell at all. That would be really cool if he was. Because that, I can almost see the squiggly coming out. Yeah. And just some more faces. Uh, a mech that he didn't finish. This looks like some kind of, like, android woman. Yeah. Just, just the expression on her eyes, she's like... I feel nothing. Here we go. We got a woman T posing, right? On everybody. She almost looks like Asuka, but I know it's not. Because, like, here we go. Now you can see the real face. It's like, that's not Asuka. Alright, oh, look at that. See, there you go. There's that squiggly style again. That... Like, squiggly and spiky. It's like, it's like. like I, don't, I don't know how to describe it except for with that noise, dude. You know? Like, see, it's like it's 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 like sharp but but soft but not sharp. It's it's weird, but I like it. It's hard to describe. But when you see it, it's like, oh yeah, that's what it is, dude. Oh here we go. He he's doing some clothes studies right here. Yeah, some Japanese garb, some armor right here. Um those big uh, samurai pants, you know? I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, some more shirts right here. Beautiful. Look at that. See that? 
It's it's just like almost like taking a peek <clears throat> into a a developing artist's background, right? Look at that. He's drawing the skeleton from memory. He's doing some muscle studies right here. Look at that. This looks like Oscar right here. Yeah, female body study poses, legs, right? You know how the muscles work, how they how they're laid out. Hold up. All right, my cat's calling me. I'll be back. Oh, so we got this uh, weird, creepy clown-looking guy. You know, for some reason, this uh, really reminds me of a uh, Wallace and Gromit. You know, you get you guys get that something about the nose, that Squidward nose. Ugh, don't like that. Let's move on, dude. That guy looks. Uh, he's freaking me out. That's some samurai guy, right? His sword just got shattered into pieces. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, look, it's a uh, it's Susie, dude. I I guess he likes that hair shape. You know, kind of like a squid hair shape. Yeah. Yeah. Just got some some beasts and some some anime characters, right? Uh, some more beasts, right? Animals, right? Like scary, scary looking guys. That's cool. This bird is looking real cool. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, he, he's always drawn this like uh, kind of like Astro Boy looking kid. I don't know. I guess uh, I guess he likes that, that uh, hairstyle. Right? You can see different versions, right? This one's a little bit more serious, right? A little more kiddish. Nice. I guess does does he uh does he yeah yeah he turns into a some kind of wolf guy. Yeah. And then there's this guy who's a who turns into a monkey hybrid. Huh. Maybe this is an idea for some kind of like animorphs kind of anime. Yeah. We got a. Bebop, or was it Rock City? I can't remember which is which, but yeah, we got the we got the Rhino Man. Yeah, we have the uh, the Bullman right here. You can see he's like he's still mid transformation right here. This is mid transformation. Well, I, I, I'm looking at these pictures, but they I've never really noticed the the concept behind them. <clears throat> yeah, see a guy he's like into a into a cat, right? A big cat. Let's see, what does this guy turn into? This is the monkey guy. This is, uh, I guess, a gorilla man or some kind of ox guy. Yeah, I can see he's playing around with um, transforming people into monsters. Oh, here we go. We have a uh, the karate girl again. Wow, damn, dude, going right towards the. Towards the audience, dude. Panty shot, don't give a shit, dude. Doesn't matter. This is anime, right? Uh, she's coming in, smacking, smacking this guy. I wonder if I wonder if these have to do with the the same story. Yeah, like this is the bear guy, and she's kicking their asses. Right? Is she? A <gasps> she's a bear. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Right? Yeah. I'm like, what? How does she have so much power? It's like. Bruh. Cause she's actually a bear. You can see by the little tuft of hair, right? Yeah, kicking more ass, right? Showing off those panties, dude. You know how it is. <clears throat> you can see her like getting upset. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, she looks. Maybe, maybe these were like. Uh... Early concepts for uh, be an animal. Who knows? Maybe they were just playing with that idea. Yeah, we just got some random, random drawings, some figures. Ooh, we have a, we have a long girl, a uh, uncircumcised penis girl, right? Because you can see the, uh, the head is uh, protected by uh, some, uh, some foreskin right there. Very nice. Hmm. 
What is this? Some like ghost guy? Yeah, he's got some. He's got a weird face. These kind of remind me of uh, the Darling and the Franks guys in the background with the weird head shape for their hats. Yeah. Ooh, this is a cool character. Like a like a spider girl right, with a with a bat umbrella. Yeah, very Halloween. Love it. Look at that. Um, and I guess this is like her robe. I guess she's like a ghost underneath. Maybe she could turn into a spider. That's very cute. This is this is a cute drawing. <clears throat> and this is her spider form. And the guy's like, no, I'm, I'm stuck. Right. And I guess this is like her her transform transformation, transformation, transformation right, into the spider queen. Right. And she's gonna pour venom into your onto your face. Not venom, but uh, acid. Eat you up. Suck you up. What do we got here? Um, <clears throat> we got a girl with extremely long sleeves. Um, she got a spear in this one. I guess these are just like little, little variations on this person. Yeah. Ooh, this reminds me of Ursula from uh, Little Witch. Yeah. She's got this really long robes. That's very nice. Yeah. Um. We have a different version. This one seems a little bit more arachnid. Uh, we have the protractor protagonist right here. Yeah, he's got rulers for weapons. That's creative. Um, this guy with the super super long arms. Yeah, he's a kind of like gorilla shape. I don't I don't really see what the like I I, I can see like there's there's like the staggered kind of armor, um, but I can't really see what the basis is for it. It's cool, though. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, we have a butcher woman, right, with all her different meat cleavers, right? She's got some... She's got some big meat cleavers in the back, right? Some cleavers in the front. Very nice. This one reminds me of uh, Starfire, because of her hair. Yeah. Uh, we got a mermaid woman, right? Yeah, I guess he um, <clears throat> I guess he likes to figure out the body shape before he does the face, because he's always doing these really simple faces, which is not a problem, you know, because it's just still like a little, it's a little sketch. You know? But uh, I can see he focuses more on the the outer design than the face design, because you know it's it's anime, so faces are fairly simple to make um, later on. We got a we got a winged woman, right? Oh, going back to that that animorphs kind of design. Yeah, she's I guess she's some kind of hawk girl. Let's see, what is this? Um, what was she gonna turn into? Yeah, some kind of like cave woman design, right? Cave girl. Yeah, tribal, as it were. Uh, we got some kind of engineer girl, right? Oh, I like this top. It's like, you know, it takes up that whole area. It's a nice shape. <coughs> yeah, so some goggles, goggles on, goggles off. Really cute. I actually really like this design. Yeah. I wish uh, I wish they'd use this. She kind of reminds me of, in this picture, like like Lotte from uh, Little Witch. <coughs> yeah, maybe these are all just like. Little things that would lead to a uh, little witch, yeah. Uh, we got a gothic Lolita, with her twin tails, and uh, a dark uh, disposition. Why is she doing this? This reminds me of uh, of of Rock from uh, what is it called? Uh, Black Lagoon. You know when he's doing the. Snap, snap, you know, which was really lame, honestly, and not very like rock at all. Yeah, don't watch, uh, don't watch uh, Roberta's Revenge or Blood Trail, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I didn't really like that one. 
or its depiction of, uh, of, of all the characters, right? Here we go. Oh, we got a, we got a girl slicing off a head. You can see some of the neck bone underneath and on top. Pretty cute. Uh, yeah, she's got the short hair. She's crazy. She's got a, she's got one of those like uh, the the sights with the the chain at the end and a cleaver at the end. She just cut this guy in half. All right, another ninja girl. These drawings seem familiar. I don't know why, but they seem really familiar. Oh, okay, these are these are a little bit more finished. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I guess this is one of the another one of those anime girl uh oh, anamorph girls, right? Um is she like a sheep? Or like a goat? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, apparently she's really strong. Can lift up a car, apparently. Yeah, I like her design though. She seem she reminds me of um, the big girl from Little Witch. Yeah, the one that eats. Like that's her thing, right? Look at that, real cute. Yeah. Oh, she just broke the chair. Um. Yeah, maybe a goat. I don't know. I I can't can't really tell. Yeah, but she's a she's a thicker girl, right? A thicker woman. All right, so we have a uh, demon girl. Yeah, I guess she's normal here. She's got a she's got horns, and then she's got her wings. Yeah, and then she becomes a full demon. I'm assuming. These don't look like the same character, though, so I'm not sure. Oh, this girl, her, her her hair becomes wings. That's a cool idea. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm surprised I've never seen this before. Like, hair is wings. Wow, that's a really cool idea. I don't know, like... You'd think that'd be uh, taken up already. We got some more faces. Just some cute girls, right? Different hairstyles. Yeah. Here we got uh, some anime boys, right? He reminds me of um, uh, Akko's uh, male interest, right? Yeah. The the prince guy, right? But obviously she's she's meant to be with Diana, okay? Obviously, right? Uh, Diana Diana and Akko, they are the are the true OTP. Um, for some reason, this looks like the 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 kid who uh, has uh, psychic powers and can like blow someone up with their mind. You know, I don't know why. I'm just it, I just get that vibe from them. Here we go. Uh, let's see what what is what is he gonna turn into? He he kind of looks like a wolf. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, maybe a baboon. Yeah, maybe a baboon. Um, I guess he's a tiger or a cheetah or something. I don't know. I don't. Maybe these aren't. Maybe maybe these aren't the same guy. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, we got a we got some robot. Robot boys and girls. Yeah. This is cool, man. He's like you can see how much experimentation goes into these drawings, and uh, kind of a, the idea of like how how he um, pushes ideas and how his ide ideation phase goes. Yeah, more robot girls. This one's really cool. Yeah, that's real nice. Oh, we got one. Oh, dude, look at this. This reminds me of Darling in the Franks a lot. This one in particular. Um, I think this is Panning Stocking. Yeah. Yeah. This this should be Panning Stocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh yeah, see, there you go. That answers that question. Yeah, just a bunch of panty and panty and stocking drawings right here. I really need to finish the show, but um, I don't know. I just I just didn't finish it. Here we go. That we got a kind of an environment right there too. That's a little different facial expressions, you know. Panty trying to be sexy right here. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, what's the name? Garter belt. Yeah. Just some sketches. Yeah, I really need to finish that show. And as you can see, <laughs> is this um, is this a uh, Jake and Finn? from Adventure Time? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a more more realistic interpretation of them. That's cool. I I I was I didn't I didn't guess that he watched the show. That's really cool. It's cool to see these little 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 inspirations, you know, that that the other artists take from. Got some robot guys. Um, this is more of a cartoonish style. Very nice. <clears throat> Here we go. We, you can see some different interpretation of the same character. You know, this one's a little bit more chibi. This one is more regular high school, right? This one is more realistic high school. That's cool. Okay. Uh, just some more facial expressions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not really much to say about those. Uh, we got a guy with a Mega Man arm. Right here. That's a really cool arm design, though. Yeah, I like that. And, like, it looks, it's, like, sucking in power through through these little nozzles right here. That's fucking cool. Just some more facial expressions. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. This is... It's Akko, dude. It's the origins of Akko. Look at her, dude. With with the little... Whoop, 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 you know? Like the alfalfa hair. That that changes the mood, depending on on her. And she's got, she's got the little bangs right there. This is the origins, bro. Yeah. Look how expressive she is, man. I, I, I can see why he's like, oh, dude. This has some... This has some weight to it, you know? More faces, more expressions. Oh, look at that one, dude. Look at the despair on that face. It's so expressive, man. Wow. Yeah, man. He's just he's just drawing shit, man. He's just he's just drawing here and there. You know, kind of having an idea, but trying to figure it out. I'm I'm not this kind of artist, but I really respect this kind of artist, you know, because uh, I don't know. It's it's very like like takes you back to when you're like a kid, you know what I mean? Just doodling on your book, right? You're like, oh, you know, dude, I'm gonna try to draw like a muscly guy. I'm gonna try to draw a couple faces here and there. All right, see what it looks like. Yeah, just more expressions, more poses, right? This guy's got a squarish head. <clears throat> yeah. See, like, individually, these drawings, uh, they're, they're not really much. They don't really, they don't really do that much, but, like, collectively, it kind of shows, um, the way someone could think about, uh, the way they, they, they draw, right? It's just a cool way, like, a, a little cool, like, um, dive into the mind of the artist, right? Seeing where their consciousness is lying at that time. Right, you can see, like, oh, you know, she, like, he's trying to figure out this, this girl's face, you know? Trying to see what, what, uh, what part of it is, like, capturing that aesthetic that he enjoys, you know? And you can see him 
pushing it a little bit further, going a little bit more and more. Yeah, today, in, uh, I guess in, in today's page, or, like, I, I view this as, like, different days, right? You're just focusing on male faces. I guess, I guess there's female faces, too. Yeah. Just faces in general. Right, trying to get... Probably trying to just develop that skill. Because, um, you know, these things, as you practice them, they become more and more ingrained in your mind, right? And the shape language becomes more and more ingrained. Yeah. You see right here, he's, he's practicing different little eye shapes. That's real cool. Yeah, like I was saying, like, um... He just lets you peer into the mind of the artist. You know, just for a second. Oh, we reached the... This, uh... Is the little bookmarker. Not, not bookmarker, but, like, the, the price tag for books in Japan. Right. This was uh, shipped overseas, over here. Um, you can see over here it's 3,000, right? Over there, so... A good, a good way to easily uh, do a money translation, or a, what is it called? Um, uh, whatever. Basically, you want to know how much 3,000 is in, in US, right? Just uh, take a decimal point, put it boop, right in the middle, right? It's $30. There you go. That's how much it is. Yeah, I like this girl. Like a student, student council pre This is Mandy. This is Mandy. This is just straight up Mandy from uh, Adventures of Bill and Bill and Mandy. Yeah, this is this is like 100% Mandy. Look, look at that hair. That's her. That's totally her. That's hilarious. Like I said, it's real cool to see the influences or the you know like what what the artists are seeing at that time. That's hilarious. I I, I wouldn't have thought that Yo Yo Shinari knows about the Adventures of Bill and Mandy. <clears throat> Here we go. There's a lot of faces, man. A lot of faces. I guess he he um, is focusing a lot on expression, trying to figure it out. I guess someone's bowling right here. This kid reminds me of the protagonist from Ogreco Seven. I guess I guess he um it's just that hairstyle, you know what I mean? That just really reminds me of it. Maybe also the the jacket. Yeah, something about it. I know I said it earlier, but I guess he, he always draws that hair shape. Mm. Some kind of like a uh, holy figure who's like ripped underneath. Yeah. This is real cool. Mm. Oh, we actually have like a we have a black character right here. You can tell by the the facial features. Yeah. See, that's that's something that a lot of people when they're drawing faces, um, they get wrong, you know? Because a lot of people, they draw faces and they expect uh, a character to be a certain race just by the skin tone, right? And that's usually completely incorrect, right? A good, uh, the, the only real way to make a character look like a certain race is by getting the, the facial features correct, you know? Because th those are the ways you can, you can tell the differences between races, is through facial features. Um, obviously through skin tone, but like, if you get the facial features wrong and the skin tone right, um, they may not translate as well, but if you get the facial features correct and the skin tone, uh, the, the facial features will reveal the skin tone, right? Because like, um, there, there, there are black characters that look a little bit lighter, and there's, there, there are ones that look a little bit darker, right? Um, but, uh, they might still look, uh, 
a different race if you don't get the facial features right. If you get those right, then it does like the tone doesn't really matter as much. All right, so we got some more faces here, just the usual stuff. Um, I like this guy right here. He's got a very like squarish face. Yeah, I like I like uh, Yoshinari's more like you know like angled stuff. Yeah. I also like this guy with the with the superior brow. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Here we go. We have some kind of like uh edgy looking character like the dark prince, you know, type character. Yeah. You can see especially right here. Oh, and here's the the guy from Gurren Lagann. Yeah, the the guy who's a bad guy but is also not a bad guy, but is also a bad guy. I can't remember. Doesn't he help him at the end? It's been a while since I've watched it. Yeah, I do not remember his name, but he is a he's got a pretty cool design. It reminds me a lot of uh, Jet from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Um, we have some. Gurren Lagann, the, the 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 mech head, right? Yeah, you can see it's like slightly broken over here. That's cool. Little details like that are really cool. Oh, do we have a Skulk Kamina, undead Kamina? That'd be pretty. That's fucking cool right there. That's just that's just cool in general. You can see the way he does eyes. You know, you can see the way um he likes to show the planes but just as like a two-tone, right? And it's like almost like a very complex looking shadow. We're also like putting in those little nose wrinkles as well. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's cool. This is cool. That is cool. Yeah, he's doing some fold studies, I believe right here. His arm looks a little janky though. A little janky right here. Um, unless he's like, nah, it's just janky. Whatever. Yeah, see, this one's a little bit better. See, he fixed it. Nice. Just some more faces, faces. <clears throat> some more faces. This is female face, right? I like this angle right here. Like, the bottom... The bottom up. Um, I feel like that particular angle is kind of difficult to do... Um, not only in figure, but especially with, like, uh, anime drawings, you know, or, uh, what do you call it, um, more stylized, right, because, um, it's, it's hard to resolve, like, all of, all of the planes that are happening right here, see, right, it's like, it's like, normally there's this, like, kind of, like, triangle shape right here, you know, that, that goes underneath the chin, um, but, like, Adding that on a female character usually will make the chin look way too hard and masculine, right? So, um, what he did here is kind of cool, right? Just, uh, leave, like, a little spot right here, and, um, I guess I would, I would have to see how it looks without this, uh, this, uh, little circle, you know, for the, the general sketch, you know what I mean? But yeah, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty good, it's a difficult angle. You guys don't know. Any anybody who's an artist will, will be like, oh yeah, dude, that the the weird chin angle, yeah. You know, got a nice little samurai guy. He looks like Sokka. Yeah, his hairstyle reminds me of Sokka. I like this uh, robe design too. The shapes are really cool. I like this like little like kind of pattern or or uh, flourish right here. Really cool. Yeah, he's doing some samurai guys. This this guy's cool. This guy's cool too. <clears throat> hmm. Some more fold studies. Yeah, just seeing how um, the folds lay out. Maybe, nah, nah. I was gonna say like maybe he has like reference for people and he's doing it like that. But I think these are all just kind of just of his own mind. Yeah. 
Here we go. This guy reminds me of an Earthbender. Yeah. Oh, it's Mandy again, dude. Fucking Mandy. What are you what are you doing here, Mandy? What are you doing here? That's hilarious. Always showing up, bro. Yeah, we got a back study right here, that's cool. <clears throat> uh more of that depressed gothic Lolita girl. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, a little bit more realistic. Here we go. I thought this guy had like a little, like a little knot tied at the end of his beard, but I don't think that's so. I think it's just a, it's just a gesture line that he put in. Another, another of the the grumpy square faced men. Is this guy, like, showing a card? This looks like he's showing off, like, a tarot card. Same guy again. The square-faced man. Hmm. This is very, like, a stream of consciousness, right? Yeah. Look at that. Are these, are these three different guys, or is this, like... Yeah, yeah, there's, it looks like it's three different guys. Yeah, because this guy's glasses are different. He has more, like, uh, African features. This guy... Uh, I guess... Yeah, he has different glasses, and he seems like... A typical anime character, and then we got a kid. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this, this looks like a... Like, one of those old anime. Like, I was gonna say Detective Conan, but not really. You know what I mean? There's something... There's something... Oh, and this these, this girl looks like Ryoko, but a little bit more... Like, oh, if I was a regular high schooler. Nice. Alright. Some more faces right here. Look at that guy. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I, lo I love the way he does eyes. They're they're so like, like, tsh, like they 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 are trans. You, like you get your eyes transfixed on them because they they look like, like they're dangerous eyes. You know what I mean? I love those eyes. Pretty fucking cool. Is that Yumi? Bro, that's gotta be Yumi from uh, from Code Lyoko. Like, look at that forehead. Look at that forehead, dude. Look how her face is, like, on the bottom half of the drawing. This is Yumi. This has to be Yumi, bro. Come on. Dude, this guy, dude, he's watching... He's watching all this, like... I'm surprised at the amount of stuff that he's watching that's, uh... That, like, oh, dude, I've seen that. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I've seen that. You know what I mean? Here we got, we got Sagat from Street Fighter. Yeah. That's cool, man. Here we go. Oh, I guess he's he's doing a little knuckle crack right here. Yeah. Got a little box girl. Um, these look like they were... These are real people, these two. Maybe just some, like, quick little drawing. Yeah, look at this guy. Hmm. I like this guy. I don't know why. He looks like... He reminds me of, like, like Elmer Fudd. Uh... Dude, this guy looks gross, but like, I kind of like it. You know, he's got like the buck teeth, and he's like, Bree. yeah, yeah, like a like like a Joker, but with a perm. Nice. All right, so let's see. Got a couple more head studies, got some eyes right here. Let's see if there's any characters I recognize or anything like that. Nothing really. I like this one. She's looking very, like, somber. You know what I mean? Here we go. We have some, like, demon uh, samurai or a demon, demon ronin, I guess. Yeah. I guess he's uh, practicing his... Uh, his primal screams. Yeah, I guess this guy is part lion. 
That's cool. Yeah, I wonder where all these like kind of like bestial animal guys are gonna go. I wonder if he's like like he's like thinking about a series he's gonna make. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if like we I release this video and they're like announcing new uh, anime, dude, by uh, Yo Yo Shinari. Japanese Animorphs. There we go. Um, I think this is the, like I said, the Animorph girl again, the bear girl. That's probably his like main character. Because I, I'm, we're seeing a lot of drawings of her, so I think she might be the main character. Oh, dude, I like this girl. She reminds me of a uh, Susie from Little Witch. Yeah. She reminds me of uh, Mako from Kill a Kill. Wow. Oh, I like this character with the kind of like lazy eyes. Yeah. The permanently uh, narcoleptic character. Is it narcoleptic? I don't know. Whatever Whatever the, sleep, the sleepy person is. Yeah. Look at this guy. Ugh. Square up, dude. Oh my god. It's so funny because um, I was a... Uh, I was hanging out at my friend's place the other day, and, uh, you know, with safety, of course, you know, obviously, during these times, um, and his grandma was there, and she's like, she, she's like a tiny, she, she looks like a very short, old-ass Mexican woman, right, but, um, there was, like, one instance where, you know, I was walking, and I was with him, and, um, like I looked like as I was I was as I was entering another room she was standing there like this exactly like this you know and I swear uh, she looked like she was like six feet tall dude right I saw her and I was like oh shit dude like her aura like raised her up dude to a new height I'm like uh, and she was like square up and I was like shit bro it, it felt like I was entering a prison yard you know for the first time and uh, I just turned away started talking to my friend and I told him about it, dude, and he, he looked at her, and he's like, oh shit, dude, right? Felt the same way. Hilarious. Square up. Yeah, just imagine an old, wrinkly, wrinkly old woman, right, but looking like this, dude. Damn. Square up. You looking for a fight? Hey, whoa, I'm just, hey, I'm just trying to come out here, you know, eat my lunch, you know, play some basketball, maybe lift some weights, you know, I'm not trying to start no trouble right here, dude. We have a uh, pants only man. This is guy like cracking his own neck. Yeah. We have some like cool, like spherical effect. Oh, I guess yeah. So he's twisting his head off or some shit like that. Um, gorilla man, right here. Oh, is this the gorilla guy? Yeah. Kind of looks like yeah 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 yeah. You can see by the like oh wow this actually this design actually looks very. Gorilla esque because you you get the you get the ears and the hair, but he's still like you know got a human face. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's I wonder if there's a sharkman as well. Yeah, you see him leaping, avoiding danger. You know, he's in a he's in a platform game. Wait, I saw I saw Crash Four, and I was like. I was like, oh, dude, that game looks pretty cool. I might get it, dude. And then I saw that it was $60, and I was like, bro, fuck that shit, dude. 60 bucks for that game? I'm like, uh, not worth it, dude. Sorry. Okay. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Crash or anything. I just looked, I thought it looked interesting. I was like, oh, dude, this looks like a, a good, like, you know, 20 to $30 game. And then I looked, and then I was like, 60 bucks. I was like, ow, sorry, bye, good luck with that. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe it's on Game Pass. Nope. Here we go. Look at all these folds. Uh, this guy loading up his crossbow. Yeah. I gotta assume that he he's doing a lot of these just as like warm up before he starts doing like some real work. Yeah. I I had a I had a teacher who made like whole new characters as a warm up to make you know his current work, which is like. 
to me that's like whoa that's like ridiculous man and i'm not talking about like you know like just you know quick drawings i'm talking about like fully rendered characters and he's like oh, okay i'm feeling warmed up now now let's do a real character you know what i mean and i'm like damn dude right <clears throat> yeah and he worked on uh he worked on dead space real cool Look at that, look at this, uh, look at this, I like this guy's design with that big, fat, like, uh, jaw, you know, I like the shape, All right, it feels really strong, structured, wow, I really like this guy, hope they do something with that, and his little skull buddy, <laughs> you may defeat me, but can you take on my friend Brutus, I am Brutus, destroyer of worlds, he doesn't like to talk much, but he's quite strong. Here we go. I like this kind of armor design. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, I guess he did the. I guess he did a muscle study, and then he was like, "Oh, let me do an armor study off of that." Who knows? See, see, the problem is I'm going like left to right. You know what I mean? But uh, generally. I think Japanese people, they probably draw right to left, like, just like they read, but I'm not sure. I don't know how, because, like, you know, I'm not, like I said, a sketchbook artist, so I don't really know how drawings flow from one side to another, right? Like, do people, like, draw here, and then draw here, and then draw here, draw here, draw here, or do they, like, draw progressively up as they go? Alright, sorry about that. Cats were, uh... Having a little fuss in the background, All right? Gotta get rid of that so the audio is good. But uh, we're back to it. Okay. It's so like I was trying to say uh, before. Yeah, I don't know how people draw progressively. Do they like they go here, 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 and then do they go outwards, or is it like you know right to left, left to right? I don't know. I I'm not sure. Cause uh, I don't really draw like this. You know, if even if I draw, it would be like oh I make a drawing here, I draw. A Make a drawing here, make a drawing here, make a drawing here. Make it very, like, neat, right? I'm not a very, like, one drawing into the next, into the next, you know? Yeah. But I know some people are like that, so, uh, you know, tell me how you guys draw down, down in the comments. Look at this guy. He's about to thunderclap somebody. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude, he, uh, he gets his hands, dude, and he slaps them together, dude. He's like, you want to mess with me, dude? Huh? You can't mess with my slice, boy. Damn, dude. My Zweihander, dude. My two-hander. There we go. So we got some, uh, some a skeletal scut. Yeah, skeletal study. Skeletal scuddy. That's funny. We got a very loose, uh, small skeleton. Yeah. Some more. Oh, oh, it's it's Trapezius Man, dude. Damn, dude. Why why does everybody have a why why does everyone have Trapezius Man in their book, dude? Uh, just like in Ryan's book, yeah, Ryan Berry, his book. He has he has Mr. Trapezius, who who's uh, Trapezius wrap around his head. This one's a little bit less so, but uh, just just seeing uh, Mr. Traps is nice, dude. Nice guy. All right, so we have oh. So we have uh, two two women, right? In a what I'm guessing is a loving embrace, or a yeah, or like one of those I, whatever, dude. They scissoring. I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to be subtle about it, dude. Who knows? You know, she's 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 reaching down that back, dude. Damn. Yeah. I don't know, man. This seems very uh, sensual to me. Right, it doesn't seem like a. It seems like a, a, a moment of uh, emotional release. Sounds about right. And physical. Don't forget about that. All right. Um. Oh look, it's Akko again, or not Akko? It looks like Akko because she's got the little, you know. Hmm. I guess maybe in this one he's like demonstrating uh, how he does uh, shapes, right? 
Yeah. Huh. So, like, this is, like, straight on. And I guess... Is this what he does? Where it's, like, the eyes are, like, you know, to create depth? Because the, these two look the same, but this looks correct, you know? And then this is straight on, like this. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because, like, you know... Um... This is technically correct, you know, but it feels more stiff, but, like, the way he's doing it like this, it seems a lot more emphasized. Maybe he's showing... <clears throat> he's like, oh, yeah, you know, people normally always do the box thing, right? But I like to go... I like to go wild and just, like, you know, give that, give that extra sense of depth in there. That's cool. Yeah. He's, uh, he's breaking the rules, you know, even showing that he knows them, but showing that, like... This is a little stiff, but with this, there's a lot more action and motion in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got some hand studies, right? The feminine hand. <sighs> you know? Beautiful. Alright, sticking out that hand. <clears throat> this one looks very, like, my precious, you know? And then she's like, yeah, you know? Don't look at it. Okay, so... Um, some more female body studies, I'm guessing. Yeah. I think, as you can see right here, um, you could tell that I think Yo Yo Shinari, he likes to draw men more. Right? Because typically, people who draw women will not do all of these, like, you know, harsh muscles and, and like, uh, you know, uh, bone hard spots popping out, right? That's more, that, like, you know, if you're drawing, if you're drawing females, you usually want to go a lot more smooth, but, um, in this case, I could see him drawing a lot more, like, like, he, I think he likes to draw men, just, just seeing the way he draws and shit, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I would surmise. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like I've seen this exact figure somewhere. I don't know why. Look at this one. She's doing like she's doing like a little mind trick, like ah. she's about to explode someone's head off. Like in uh, the boys. <clears throat> oh, you see this right here? That's what I'm feeling. My my back has been fucking killing me, dude. Yeah, so I'm just like, ugh, you know, trying to stretch it out, trying to crack it, even though it's not going to do jack shit. Yeah. Look at that, he's doing a lot. Of, yeah, so you can see, see with the male figure, it seems a little bit less weird because there's a lot more hard points. Yeah. Is this man, uh... Oh, yeah, he's doing the, the bow, right? The, you know, I'm begging you! Bow. Uh, the the Japanese thing I don't, I don't know what it's called. If you guys know, uh, leave it down in the comments. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, see here we go. See this is a little bit more smooth, right? A little bit. Uh, this is more. This is more uh, feminine, right? When you're when you're drawing, right? This is like the the very smooth gestures right here. Not not too many harsh lines. Yeah, it's it's like he it's like he heard me and was like, man, maybe I'm drawing these too rough, you know. And now he's like smooth them out a bit. That's a lot better. Yeah, see, that's a lot better. But that's pretty sexy. It's a it's a stock anime girl chan. She's like she's like ditto. She could become anyone. See a lot smoother, All right? Yeah, generally with women, you don't want to draw muscle mass and and hard points because it is it's a <clears throat> you know unless she's like a really ripped woman, you know what I mean? Just in general, you want to keep it smoother. Yeah, look at that hand. <clears throat> that hand looks a little weird. It looks broken. Like the thumb is like too too far in. That little demon girl. That's cute. Oh, 
Guy with a sword, right? This guy looks a little meager. <clears throat> Looking a little sad. Oh, he's uh, this guy's sad. Oh. Right, and then she's like doing ballet and she's like, hey, what's wrong, man? Don't you like this ass? And he's like, my pee pee don't work. So I can't look at that ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your ass means nothing to me. There we go. We got some kind of like twin tail robot girl. Yeah. Monkey boy. Hmm. This guy's flexing on you hard. Yeah. The, spar the drawings are kind of becoming a little bit more sparse right now. But, uh, not, not sparse, but like. You know, they're all, like, kind of the same thing. Just figure, figure, figure. Um, I guess earlier was heads, heads, heads. And now it's, like, figures everywhere. Because there, there were figures before, but... Uh, especially so now. Oh, here we go. So we have, um... Slightly chubby guy. Right? He doesn't seem that fat. He just seems like he has, like, a dad bod. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have a female. We have a male. We have a toned male. Ripped male. Right? And we have a ripped male. Fucking, oh, meaty neck. You know, fucking big ass man. You know, thick boy. Yeah. I like thick boy. I like, I like, uh, I like thick boy and other thick boy. You know, these guys are kind of just standard, right? And Skeleton. Some fingers right here. That's cool. We have a typical villain right here with the face. Typical hero right there. You know how it is. We have some more, uh, like, cartoony ones. Yeah, it reminds me of Astro Boy. This looks like... Like... He's, like, grabbing her. But then she's like, Oh, whoa! <laughs> you know? I don't know why. Uh, we have some kind of, like, ghost girl. Or something like that. I don't know why. I, I, I just feel ghost. Film Ghost. Yeah, more simple drawings, right? On Gynax paper. Huh, this one doesn't have the animation holes on it. Uh, just more figures, more figures. Nothing, nothing special right now. Oh, it's a uh, stock stock chan. Yeah. Hmm. More muscle studies right here. <clears throat> yeah, military man up here. A uh, guy in a chair. I guess it's some kind of like young ace detective, kind of looking guy. Really skinny man. You know, anemic. Yeah, like my like my friend, my artist friend Anto. Let's see. He's got like a a girl here, like skinny, right? Uh, she he he accidentally created a a false vagu. You know, <clears throat> that's not a real vagu. That's a false one. Obviously. Oh wait. He did it again, dude. Damn. Hmm. Now I'm questioning. Is he drawing the Vagu or is he not? Yeah. That's two coincidences. Too many. <coughs> not sure. But I like the I like the colors. I like this one. I like these little different poses. This is cool. Like little mini poses. It's funny, because he does a lot of figures, but, like, it's only sometimes that it's kind of interesting to me. But that's just how it is, right? I like the style, though. It's very, like, loose and freeform. 
That was just like the transition from uh, like run, 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 run into like er now I'm now I'm going all fours, dude, and I become an animal. Yes, and this is like the male equivalent, right? Here's a guy punching, doing his punching practices. He jump, 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 jumps on the wall, leaps to the edge, grabs that shit, gets out of there. This reminds me of Akko. I don't know why. Just like, like if she's pissed, like, what the fuck did you just say? And then she rolls up her sleeve. Damn. I'ma fuck you up. I don't need no magic, bitch. I got the streets. The knowledge of the streets, boy. Alright. We have, um... They're, they're reaching for each other. No! Don't fall, dude. It's like, I can't hold on to you. Your ass is too fat. There we go. This is funny. This this looks like a like a girl, it's like stepping on the dude's crotch as he's as she's like jumping up, you know. And he's like, "Oh God!" Ooh. Yeah, that would be that would be a pretty effective, uh, not only attack but um, uh, platforming as well. Yeah. I like these figures. These these have a lot of gestural motion with them. Oh, dude, we have a kung fu dad bod right here. Awesome. It's like, I may be a dad, but I'll still fuck you up. Yeah, I like this. Guy. I don't know. This guy has personality, man. I like him. <laughs> he's like he's like he's like Krillin, but like uh, he's got he's got all the dad weight. Yeah. Yeah, that's really this. I like this guy. Yeah, he's middle aged, but he'll still kick some ass, bro. Like a Cobra Kai, dude. There you go. Doing a doing a slide right there. Cool. Kung Fu kick. All right, doing some hands right here, pointing. You know. Er. Yeah, she's, uh, this person's doing a kick, you know, got a little bit of vagu leakage right there. Nice. Another kick right here. Oh, this guy just did some kind of, like, weird spin kick. Like, whoa, boom, dude. And he's got, he, this guy just got his bell rung hard. Yeah, look at this. Damn, dude. These are so much more expressive. Some guy's like uh, reaching around, or a girl. It's like, let me let me feel that supple neck of yours, right? Can I feel your supple neck? But of course. And, and she's like, I don't want to choke you out too hard. She's like, no, please, choke me out, dude. These are cool, like little little hand studies. Yeah. Oh, we got a Bowman right here. Done, dude. Guns. Just these are just you know little hand studies, figuring out how to uh, how to place the shape correctly. That's cool. Yeah, you can see right here that this is probably the base way he does hands. You know? Nice. I remember the, um, this reminds me of, like, the Jim Lee method, right? Where you draw, like, the, 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 the pad of the hand as a square. Then, uh, kind of like a triangle-ish shape right here. You know, and then the thumb extending out. It's cool. Old man right here. Old man Winters. That's Ethan Winters. But he'll become a Redfield. 
Here we go. It's like some kind of... Cyberman? No. Uh, what are those things called? He looks like a Power Ranger, basically. <clears throat> yeah. Guy with a gun. This gun looks pretty cool. Just some more hands right here. Um, some explosion effects. Some more hands right here. Yeah. <clears throat> more hands. More hands. I guess these are like, uh... Like, baby hands, kid hands, uh, adolescent hands, and then adult hands. And then there's, uh... Like, I guess old hands, or like, wrinkly... Wrinkly hands, and then there's, uh... Skeleton hands. <coughs> the x-ray version. Yeah, some gestures, some, uh... Delicious. Um, just more hands. Yep. Nothing particularly interesting. Just a bunch of hands. And more hands. And hands! And hands! And skeleton. Yeah. Here we go. Some more female uh, torso study. Right? Like I said, still very... See, without the... I think without the boobs, you would think like, oh yeah, that's a male. Right? There you go. And then you got, uh, internals. Nice. Uh, more cartoony legs. He's got, oh, Mickey Mouse legs right there. Yeah, just different legs. A little ballerina right here. That's cute. Some feet design. Yeah, oh, I like this foot right here. I like to... Yeah. Yeah, so generally right here you wanna so for the soft parts you do curve and then for the hard parts, you know, where the bone juts out, you do a hard ch -ch, you know. Hard transition. Yeah, some more of those uh like uh I don't know, now now these now these look like mechs, you know, or or like a like a tribal even Gellion kind of thing. I don't know. I, I I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. But um, I'm just getting that feeling, right? It's like the Hawkman. Yeah. I see right here. You can see the building. So maybe he's a he is a mech or a Power Ranger. I guess he can morph, maybe. Yeah. And there's this guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's supposed to be like him like sticking out his tongue, but it, it looks like it. Oh, here we go. We're going back. So we have a we have a reptile man now. Yeah, and he's ripped. And we have the lion guy and he's he's angry. We have the tiger, which is just a tiger, literally just a tiger. Yeah. Uh, the bears, right? Maybe he's just doing animal studies. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Animal anatomy is uh, is worth knowing, man. I'm telling you. You never know when you're going to need to draw an animal. And having that um, knowledge is, is very important. See the, see the way the bones are placed. Um, I took animal anatomy when I was in school. So, um, I know... I know the, the basic structure of... Uh, of like cats, horses, um, some some mammals, right? Yeah. And these look good. These 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 are these are pretty strong. And he obviously knows um, something about animal anatomy, the way they move, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, we got a pig. Look at that. Oink oink oink, motherfucker. For some reason, this big, this pig seems very, like, badass. I don't know why. We have, a um, Little, little wild boar right here. Becoming into a big wild boar. 
Got some some cows right here. Nice. I <clears throat> oh, see cat study. All right, he's got the cat skull correct as well. Look at that. Look at this little guy. Adorable dude. Yeah. We have a skeleton and a skeleton cat, dude. Nice. Yeah. A little cute, little cute kitty, right? And then a more uh, like brr, kitty. Look, look, look how ripped he looks. Yeah. Dude, cats like big cats. They are they get they are all muscle, man. Jesus Christ, dude. Look at this greyhound, dude. Muscle, dude. <laughs> he's he's ready to fuck you up, dude. Got a little bunny guy right here. And a, a foot study. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Dude, dog's feet are weird, man. Like, they, they could be really fucking weird looking. We got some kind of like demon horse, right? With a with a horse skull. Dude, horse skulls look so cool, man. I can see why they use them a lot and shit. Let's see, we have uh this is a big cat, yeah. Big cat skeleton. Got some kind of like arm right here, and, a, and an F-16, you know, like psh, the uh, the basics, bro. Look at that. Damn, dude, look at this F-16 study. This is cool. Damn, bro. Yeah, I got some car studies right here. These are cute. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, these remind me of like, I feel like there's um, I think Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, where they have um the cars that are just a little bit smaller and look like you know like a funny version of a real car, right? Like this one, like this one, like they look like little like little miniature versions, you know, but they're but they're big. Yeah. We got some mech designs, right? Some cool face masks. That's cool. Reminds me of um, Destiny. This one right here. Or, or Anthem. I don't know. Yeah, is he looking for faces in the in the car? Yeah, he probably saw a face right here and he's like, he's like oh, that'd be cool. Um, this reminds me of a Pokemon. You know the the Arceus? Yeah, that's his name. Wow, I remember Arceus, but I can't remember I can't remember half the shit I talk about sometimes. But I remember Arceus. Whatever. Yeah, he looks like him, like a human version, or a, sorry, a mech version, I guess. Look at this guy. He's like a. He's got a. He's got a dick head right here, you know, nice, nice gland head, a gland helmet. Yeah. Look how these parts interlock. It's like, it's almost like, like a toy. That's cool. There we go. Ah, oh, this guy's cool. Kind of like a disc, like a clam head right here. Yeah. It reminds me of those those clam enemies in Dark Souls. I don't know why, but they do. And uh, some more, some more mech guys, mech studies, right? Here we go. Some more mech guys. He's got a. He's got like the. This looks like a Gundam. I don't know why. Yeah, from the side, looks like a Gundam. Here we go. We got Robot Astro Boy. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, like, Astro Boy, he ha he's he's taken the whole, like, like, you know, hair here and hair on top thing. Like, that's, it's, it's, it's so, it's become so iconic that I can't, I can't see anything but Astro Boy. This looks like some, like he drew, like some Gundam. He's designing different heads for it, maybe.
Got a speedman. Yeah. And uh, some kind of like triceratops, like chocobo thing, like vehicle. Yeah. That's cool. It's a cool design. And he, he like rams his his uh his his horn at you. Some more uh, Gurn Lagan drawings. Yeah, that's cool. Different little poses. Right here. This one, this one looks like he's spinning something around him. His head. Boom, comes diving in. Damn. Um, another uh, Gurn Lagan design because he, he has the face in the middle. At first, I thought this was a big O, but I'm wrong. This, this is a face right here. Yeah, we have a straight-up Gundam. Nice. We have some kind of, like, uh... Like, Venom Tail, right? Or it becomes a head, I guess. This reminds me of, um... Oh, bro, this is definitely Jenny from... My my life as a teenage robot, like you see that the top right there, that's totally like Jenny's ears or her hair, her twin tails. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like this becomes a tail into like a character because I see like the face here and then there's like the the tail that becomes the hair. That's cool. Uh, more Gurn Lagan guy. Oh, look at this big Lipman. This I think this is the guy the guys from. Evangelion, you know the the movie, yeah. Different little head designs. That's cool. Yeah, more mech studies uh, inside of like some kind of engineer thing, pilot. Yeah, uh, this is a real guy. This is uh, I think this is from a reference. Yeah. Has to be. More Gurren Lagan stuff. I guess he was he was feeling nostalgic, you know. It's like oh, what, like maybe we could do like a like, couple different designs from that. This looks like a completely nude guy. Yeah, different iterations on the head. This is fucking cool. I like this guy. Yeah. Look at that strongman with the with this cool looking uh, spear. It reminds me of um, you know the the Titanite demons from from Dark Souls. Yeah. We got a mech horseman, mech demon guy. Maybe they're just wearing face masks. I don't know. Gurn Lagan bot. Nice. More more different little face iterations. Yeah, I like these like hard, like harsh, like yeah. More mech guys. Mech hands. Yeah, more Gurn Lagan. We got some kind of like tree stump right here. Don't know what that's about. Um, fireplace and a table, I believe. Some more mech drawings. <clears throat> Look at this. Oh wow, this is a cool drawing. He's a little bit taller than usual. <laughs> Oh, he's got like a like a cool gun, right? He's got. I guess these are like little close-ups of his armor right here. Yeah, this looks like maybe underneath his arm. Mm -hmm. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Uh, some kind of like weird like <laughs> guy. You know, look, he's got his head sticking out so hard. Yeah. This reminds me of Metal Gear Ray because of the front. Yeah. Let's 
some kind of like bird airplane guy. I guess he transforms into a into a plane. Oh, it's a it's a gland head. Yeah. It's, it's knob head. More more of that samurai guy. I guess this time he's got a little bit of robes. Yeah. Robot samurai. Oh dude, this is samurai. This is like a robot samurai jack right here. This guy's got two swords and, like, shields on his arms. <clears throat> Here we go, so... We got mountains, we got, like, some kind of, like, storm right here. Right? I'm guessing these are, like, weather effects, you know? More rocks in the background. Yeah, these are cool. I like the way he does the, the shading, where it's like... You know? Like, he's got these little crazy stipples. Yeah, we have this cube becoming a cube, becoming a cube, becoming a cube again. Yeah, the moon. It's cool. Um, there's some like environment stuff right here. Yeah, see the way he he bends straight, you know, even though, and like that that adds like some some flair to it, you know. It adds some humanity to it. Trees, more palm trees, you know. You know how it is. Ooh, more environment studies. Trees, tree branches, trees right here. This tower. This looks like the little witch tower right here. The little witch bridge right here. Some more foliage. Different leaves, different types of leaves. That's cool. I don't know what this is, like some kind of like segmented, like, robot thing? I don't know. Yeah, just more like environment stuff. I don't know, these look like rocks, but, like, it's like unsettling, it looks like, like an eye, like two eyes looking at you. I don't know why. Here we go. Some hand studies, some kind of like wall right here with these cool looking looking trimmings. Nice. Um, some weird robot floaty thing. Yeah. Vernon Grant, don't know who that is. Maybe you guys can uh, search him up. Tell me in the comments down below. Some more building studies, more foliage right here. Uh, cloud explosives, yeah. Looks like Satsuki's tower. Oh shit! When I saw this page, that's, that's all I that's all I felt, man. You know, like this dragon, boom, dude, and then I love the way he draws explosions, man. They they look so crazy. You know, and yet they 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 still feel like explosions. Nice. Oh shit! You know, like you're under fire, World War One in the trenches, dude. More explosions. More explosions on top of explosions on top of more explosions, and then this looks like a this looks like water instead. This is like <laughs> we're done, dude. That's a nuke right there, baby. And then like you, you can see it like dissipate. Yeah, dude. Fucking god rods coming down from the sky, <laughs> parting those clouds. There we go. Right, right before impact. Impact. Damn. Yeah. More explosions. More explosions. More. This is like these looks like fire effects right here. Yeah. This looks like a, like for some reason this is an explosion, but I see like a face right here. Like you see the nose and the teeth right here and the eyes right here, and it's like. 
like an explosion but with a face in it. Yeah, like this is a uh, like afro hair or like a big brain. All right, we're getting there. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Um, some more explosions, more explosions. Yeah, Megamine would have a have a field day with this, dude. She's like, oh, dude, my favorite part, dude, is the end with all the explosions, bro. Yeah. A Chunibio's dream. Explosions, more explosions. Explosions, explosives. Uh, got a little rocket right here coming out, and then guess what's gonna happen, dude? An explosion. Got some broccoli here, right? Some more broccoli. And then when you eat broccoli, dude, it'll, it'll make a really stinky explosion. You get what I'm saying, dude? There we go. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Uh, this looks like some kind of like water or phoenix thing. You know, water phoenix. Some kind of bird flying. Uh, we have the wall. More explosion effects. These are really cool. Explosion effects. Damn, dude. That's like the entire last part of the book. There you go. Leaving on like a uh, explosive note, right? All right, so uh, let's uh, oh, anything back here? Oh. Let's close this book up and uh, enter the review portion. All right, guys. Let us uh, enter the review portion for the for this book. Um, as you can see, I think uh, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, the book costs about, I think, when I got it, it was like 45, right? Maybe 40. Um, but I, I've been kind of looking online, and I see it for about like 60 bucks now. And uh, to be honest, this is kind of like a niche product, right? Um, I think if you're a fan of Yo-Yo Shinari, uh, personally, uh, I think that would be this. This would be a great book for you, right? Uh, if you're a fan of Trigger and stuff like that, that would be a good book. Um, if you want to kind of get a peek into the mind of Yo-Yo Shinari and the way he draws, and you know, um, kind of understand the framework in which. Uh, an artist draws, then this could be a really great book for you guys, right? Um, I wouldn't recommend it to uh, a regular, like, art book viewer, right? If you're like, oh, I like, should I get this art book, you know, this and that, right? Um, I don't think I could recommend it to those people, it's just because the price is so steep, right? But, um, if you guys are a huge fan of Yo Yo Shinari himself as an artist, right? If you like, uh, you know, if, you, if you're an artist who wants to take a peek behind the covers and learn, right, this is a great book. I could easily recommend it. Um, but like I said, uh, it's not for everyone, um, but, you know, it was certainly for me, right? I had a really good time. I learned a lot, you know, took a, took a peek into the background, which was really nice. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, with that... We can end the review here, guys. Um, please uh, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me how you guys feel about Yo Yo Shinari's artwork. Um, and ring the bell for notification. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.